Hello, everyone. It's great to be with you. St. Joseph is here with me. He's the patron saint of respect for human life. And uh, today we heard a lot in the scriptures about the creation of man and woman, and that woman and man are bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, and the great blessing of man and woman and of marriage. And Jesus affirms it in the gospel. But the scripture that caught me the most was the second reading where it said, speaking of God becoming human in Jesus, he was for a time made lower than the angels. Jesus accepted a condition lower than the angels. Why did he do so? We will endlessly wonder about that. He did it to save us, but could it not have been done a different way? It seems that God loves human existence. And we compare, we know that angels are not born and they do not die. Angels are not hungry, they do not eat or drink. Angels do not need to uh, have shelter to live in or to clean a house or to clean up themselves. Angels uh, have no regrets. They do not have passions or emotions or think step by step like humans. Angels are perfect in their mental capacity. Angels do not make love as humans do or give birth. All these things which are part of our human nature, God loves. And so in looking at these scriptures today, I would like to speak, as Jesus spoke about children in the gospel, about the point where man and woman's love gives, gives, uh, generates, gives birth to a third, a child. Uh, an image in a distant way of the Trinity. Three persons, one, yet three. But I wish to speak about abortion. Abortion is a very conflicted issue for almost all Americans. A majority of Americans think it should be legal in certain circumstances, but most Americans feel like it's a tragic thing, a something bad which unfortunately we have to allow. Uh, as Catholics and with many other Christians, we believe that abortion is the taking of a human life, which is never permitted. And yet, over the many years, uh, the, the percentage of people believing as they do has not changed much. So what does this mean for us? Well, first of all, as Catholics and with the other Christians, we need to be more convincing and persuasive about the importance of human life from the very beginning. This is something the church has always held to from the very beginning. And yet, uh, we are not convincing. And yet, the most important thing we can do is to convince others of the value of each human life. The second thing we can do is to be there with help for the woman who is expecting a child in difficult circumstances, as we do through birthright or through Bayard House in our diocese and in other ways. Sometimes it's something individual and personal through your acquaintance with a young person, usually in their 20s, who's expecting a child that they feel like they can't afford or can't, for other reasons, have. To think of what scripture says, before I begot you in the womb, before you were begotten in the womb, I knew you. Or as we say of Mary, blessed is the fruit of your womb. These scriptures give motivational force to our belief from human reason and nature that the human life from the very beginning is personal. There is also the political realm that we should work for laws and policies which if we cannot eliminate abortion can restrict it more and more. Uh, the Hyde Amendment is an example and there are others to work politically not to throw stones not to condemn other people, there are many sincere people who can't quite find their way to condemn abortion, but to work steadily. And another thing too, we have to think about the mother who works and is having a child and she, can, she needs sufficient maternity leave and credit, tax credits for the income to support a child when she is the sole support, or even two parents whose work, whose jobs do not pay. 
These are some thoughts that I offer. We must be um, true to the design, the loving design that God made in man and woman. Uh, we invoke Joseph and Mary because they, more than anyone else, uh, safeguarded and raised to adulthood uh, their son amid difficult, very difficult stresses. So this is the month of respect for life all through October. There are other aspects of respect for life that I will bring to your attention. In the meantime, uh, give thanks to God for the family life you have, that you came from, for the deep friendships that make your life worth living. And also for all the little kids who run around. <laughs>